Yeah, good evening to you. The family continuing to ask for prayers and support. Meanwhile, some community activists are calling for increased safety measures. Tonight, the Tanglewood community is thinking of the family of 12 year old Jamari Jackson, a family spokesman speaking for Jackson's mother. She appreciates uh, all the well wishes. She appreciates the prayers and she wants those prayers to continue because the family definitely needs those. We gather today to stand in solidarity. This morning, some community activists called on the district to use metal detectors. We honestly cannot think of any other way to stop guns from entering our schools. And true enough, a metal detector is not going to stop a shooting. But countermeasures need to be put in place for deterrence. I understand that's a first response. Uh, uh, major reaction. School board chairman Roger Meek said metal detectors have been discussed for 20 years and while they could help, he says they don't catch everything. On top of that, there are logistical challenges. When we try to run in a thousand or, or 1500, 2000 students within a 15 or uh, 30 minute span in the morning, uh, it's been estimated it would take us two hours to do that. We would have to have the kids to come to the school much earlier to try to go through the process. And the family spokesman telling us this afternoon the family at this point is not interested in a discussion on safety measures, including metal detectors. He continues to reiterate there asking for your prayers. For now in Greenville County, Taggart Half, the VYFF News 4.